added something new to my cab. Uh, let it start up and show you, and then go into how to do it. There's a little delay. So I added music to my home screen. So I added a uh, remix edition at the plain one. Um, but I can go through, select the two different caps. So I'm going to select turtles. And the turtle music starts. And as you notice, the Simpsons remix stopped. Um, switch these two games, pick one. I'm going to go back to the home. And the music restarts. I'll go to the Simpsons. And all I'm doing is uh, volume down for like a second, letting go. Uh, with the other video you can watch, um, it shows you how to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and show you how I did this. Okay, so if you're watching this video, you should have Macro Droid installed. I have another video on how to get to this point. Actually, multiple videos. One is the basic version of how to install the APKs and different games and programs. Um, I just finished the expanded version, which shows you from scratch how to do it. And I have another video with Macro Droid already installed to do the volume down to return to this home screen. So if I go into one of these games, uh, I haven't played this one yet since I just refreshed and reinstalled everything. So I have to give it permissions, but here we go. Wi-Fi doesn't work on any of the new additions. So I can go through, play one of these games, exit back to this screen. I'm gonna click down volume for more than a tap and it returns to this home screen. This next part is to add music to this home screen since it's a picture. Uh, it's not a video. You can do uh, video live wallpaper and add a custom video with a soundtrack on it. However, I just want to keep the image and I want to play different songs. So I need to go to my, I need to go to Macro Droid to set that up. I'm gonna click on Control Escape, System Settings, go to Apps. Uh, launch macro droid open so here we have the first macro I have set up and this is just to go back to the home screen I'm going to actually rename the category so I'm going to go to settings and I'll go to macro actually home scroll down categories um, a lot of these you can delete, you can keep them, and I'm just going to click and hold on that one, click rename, and I'm just going to do this one as music, could have left it the same, and then I need another one for controls, I will click and hold communication, rename, and rename this one to controls. Hopefully the rain in the background is not too loud. So you can also start deleting categories. So that way you, it's easier to select them uh, later. And you can always recreate a new one. If you don't plan to keep them organized, you can skip this step. I just wanted to show it just in case there's someone else that wanted to do it. Just helps you organize your macros later if you need to find one so that it 
opinion on how many you plan to build going forward. I have no idea. Initially, I only planned to do that one, but then here I am adding a few more. So I'm just long clicking. Not a, not a tap, because if you just do it, actually it does. Just tapping on it, clicking delete. So now I just have these two categories. I'm gonna scroll up and add macro. Now the trigger is This is whatever whatever action it's gonna start it. So this is application launch or close. We wanna do launch, okay. Select application. And this is gonna be anytime Nova 7 launches, it'll start playing the music. I also need to add another one. Device events, when the event boots up now, um, I had I had one track installed and I did not need device boot and it worked perfectly. I'm adding multiple tracks so I had to add this to make it continue working because I'm going to add a loop for the action where it keeps repeating the song over and over and over. If you plan to play the song once so that way if you have your machine idle it's not continuously playing music all day. Uh, that also depends on how long your soundtrack is going to be. If you plan to add a four hour soundtrack or uh, music track, then you're going to be good for four hours. After that four hours, it would stop. Uh, once again, I'm doing a loop where I have three songs. I think two of them are like three minutes. One of them is maybe an hour, maybe 30 minutes. I had a few different ones. I don't know which one I ended up putting on this cabinet. Uh, I'm not sure how long that one is, but I have three different tracks, I believe, that are going to cycle through. So we're going to click on Action, Create, or Add, and we're going to scroll down to Media. We're going to play a sound. We're going to choose the existing uh, file. We're going to block the next action until this track is done. Click OK. And it's going to ask us which track, so I'm going to click on Audio. So here's the three tracks. Um, this one is a couple, this is, I don't even know if it's a minute. This one is a couple minutes, and then this one is maybe 30 minutes. So I'm gonna have it play Street Fighter Remix, then maybe the X-Men, and then this one is just random arcade noises. You can hear Street Fighter playing in the background. You can hear people tapping on the joysticks. Uh, it sounds like you're in an actual arcade. So I'm going to click on Street Fighter Remix first. We're gonna click on conditions loop. Okay, so if you plan to play one track, you don't need this one. We have application launch, Street Fighter, and that's it. Anytime you go to Nova, it will play. So I guess I'll go ahead and show you that. Play music. And then, actually that is it for this one. So save that. We need to add one that kills the music. So stop music. We're gonna add the trigger application. And this is one Nova closes, it will stop the music. And for some reason it didn't select, there we go. We're we'll just go down to media, play sound stop, stop existing, okay. And that is it. So now if we go to macros, we have one for play music and one to stop it. So if I click and hold volume down, release, goes back, and there's the soundtrack. And 
and for some reason the volume doesn't adjust showing the volume level. China, Brazil, <laughs> India, Spain, Thailand, USA, USSR, Japan, 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 Japan. All right, and it kills the music. So I reset to factory the cab, hoping to get the volume fixed. It just seems like it's gonna be a glitch um, with this process. If I figure out how to fix it, I'll add it to the comments. Um, but both times I installed it, as you can see, it, it hangs up on whatever volume level it's currently at. It doesn't adjust. All right, so I need to go back, control escape. going to do system settings, apps and notifications, I'll go back to macro droid, open, and you can hear the music, I don't know if you can hear it over the rain, but the music stopped, um, so I can click and hold, and select category, and it says controls, and then I can hide that, click and hold, select category, music, so that way I can put these under music. And just be a little cleaner if I keep adding more macros. Click on this one. All right, so to add the loop, I need to uh, add more. I'm going to do a condition loop. Um, repeat action while condition repeats, and the condition is while you're in Nova Launcher, application running, running in foreground, and Nova Launcher, Nova 7. Okay, so now I need to drag this inside that loop, click on these two bars here, drag it in, so now it's part of this loop. I need to add another part of this loop to continue loop. So now, once it launches, uh, Nova 7 launches or when the device first starts, it'll start this loop. It'll play this track over and over and over. All right, so I'm gonna add more tracks to this. I'll click here, add a child action, scroll down, media, play sound, choose file selected. I need to add block action, click OK, click on audio, and we already have Street Fighter, I'll add X-Men, this is the 90s, 94 uh, cartoon theme, so I'm going to double click, there's X-Men, I'm going to add, clicked on WoW, I'm going to add child action, and if you did the arrow, or the plus sign, you just have to drag it down, or drag it inside the loop media, control place, block. I don't know if you need block, I'm just adding it. I'm assuming I don't want to play all three tracks at once. So I'm waiting till one sound is done, then it plays the next one. I'm gonna click on audio and do the ambience. I'm gonna double click. All right, so I believe this is it. I got all three tracks playing, uh, and then it repeats this loop and keeps doing it while Nova's launched. Once whenever you enter one of the games, it will turn off. I'm gonna click that check to save it. So now whenever I leave Nova, the music should stop. I haven't seen it not work 100% of the times, so I just return to Nova and then go back to the game and it, and it shuts it off. I'm um, guessing just a hiccup, it doesn't save it. I mean, it doesn't catch the action. So, there we go. I have play and stop. So now if I go back to the home, you should hear music. Actually, if you wanna test each one too, um, make sure it's working, just click here test action all right so to stop the action i need 
can actually go back and test this. All right, so I need to go back to this one. And let me test so you can hear the arcade sounds. So there we go, it will play music and stop the music. I have these three tracks on repeat. So let's go back. And I can play. There we go. So for this, I'm just gonna click on the volume down. And as you can hear, the soundtrack has already started. It seems to only be stuck on no launcher screen. China, Brazil, India, Spain, Thailand, USA. USSR, Japan, 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 Japan,